Okay, a Barvember White Rose Maths bar modelling problem. And we have a question here. Josh and Leon have £73 in total. They each spend £5 and Josh now has 25% more than Leon. How much more money did Josh have than Leon at the start? Now, this is what you have to be quite careful as with any word problem, what the actual question is asking you. Um, it might be different to what you might expect. Um, let's just see if I can get my pencil to do as I would like it. No? There we go. Right. So they have £73 in total at the start, but there's nothing much I can draw there because I don't know what they have in relation really to each other. They each spend £5. Now here, this is where I get something that's easier to draw. So I've got Josh and I've got Leon. And it tells me that Josh has 25% more than Leon. So I'm actually going to start drawing Leon's blocks first. I'm actually, and this is one, two, three, four. This represents all of the money at the end that um, Leon has. And I've done it in, you know, four equal size blocks because I'm told that Josh had 25% more than Leon. So 25% um, is a quarter. So that's why I've done that. Um, Josh would have something that was exactly the same. All right. So these are all equal size parts, but plus the extra 25% like this. OK, so all of these blocks are equal sizes. Then what do I have? I said so they each spent. So originally they had 73 pounds in total and then they each spent five pounds. So I'm going to add on this five pounds each. And in fact, I'm going to do like a little dotty addition here okay I've done that slightly differently just to have a visual reminder to myself that this amount is different to this all right these these parts are not equal to these all right and when we had these five pounds okay the total was 73 all right now this is where the bar modeling is really helpful because I can see that all of that together was 73. Now, if I subtract these two five pounds, 10 pounds together, all right, that will tell me what all of these equal size blocks are worth. So that's 63. And I, because I know these are all equal parts, I then can divide by the number of equal parts to find out what each of these blocks is worth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine equal parts. So and 63 divided by nine equals seven. So I know that each of these is seven, obviously it's seven pounds. I'm just not writing in the pound symbol. OK, so each of these represents seven pounds. OK, so what am I being asked? Let's remind um, how much more money did Josh have than Leon at the start? So I really I need to know what how much each of them had. So one, two, three, four, five times seven is thirty five plus the five. That gives me a total of 40 all the way to there. And what have I got here? One, two, three, four times seven is 28 plus the five gives me 33. OK, so at the beginning, because I need to include these five pounds at the beginning before the money was spent, um, Josh had 40 and Leon had 33. Um, 40 subtract 33 gives me the difference which is seven pounds so that is my answer that is how much more money Josh had than Leon at the start